Hey guys, how you doing? Tonight, uh, today, I'm going to talk about how to live with intervals. It is very important to care about the intervals. For example, you know we have different intervals, but most, most important of them are second minor, major minor, uh, third major, thir third minor, fourth, uh, I'm going to do it. This is the unison. Uh, Unison, sorry. Uh, that means it, it is the same as the thing that we're doing it with itself. This is a minor second, major second, minor third, major third, and perfect fourth. Augmented fourth or diminished fifth, it depends on which way you're looking at it. Perfect fifth, uh, minor sixth, minor s major sixth, minor seventh, minor major seventh, and octave. So, uh, if uh, we suppose that they're the most important, but actually it's not, it goes up and up. On minor ninth, minor major ninth, minor, and it goes up and up. It never stops, cause uh, so. But when you're thinking about the melodies, you don't jump that much, you know. Maybe you're if you're not Beethoven like me. I'm not Mozart, so I try to think as little as small as possible. So I try to, for example, I'm gonna be a musician. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna put myself in a jail. It is called scales. I'm gonna not cage myself, put myself and marginalize myself through some things that are called scale, gypsy, minor, major, harmonic, major, major, pentatonic. Of course, I know all of them. Yeah, I'm showing off and posing in front of all people. I know lots of scales, but it's not the important thing. Important thing is how to make melodies uh, regardless of no, you you know what you're doing. You know which scale you're sounding right now. For example, you're doing minor, and now you see it's uh, diminished. Diminished minor. Double harmonic. But if you want to not to think about those kind of this way, you gotta look at it other way. You gotta start to think about the music the melodies. Even then, after chords, just uh, intervally. You know, you should look at the intervals and think at the moment that right at this moment, which kind of interval fits me. For my music, right? Let's think about it that way. Uh, yeah, so uh, I love Russian. I love Turkish. I love, I love Russian. I, I love Armenian. But I don't have time to wrap my he heads around those three languages that I know shit about. And I think German is gonna get added to those things. But I, I don't have that kind of much time, you know. So, uh, yeah. And this is it. That's how you develop your own personal reality. You, you know, the Sufism is kind of a Gnosticism, but Iranian type, Islamic type of uh, Gnosticism or mysticism. It says uh, life is putting out the things that you're not yourself. That's the meaning of the life. For example, you're this, 
but you are surrounded and masked by lots of other melodies from all the heroes that you worship in your life. For example, this is Beethoven, this is Ingve Malmsteen, this is Steve Vai, this is Matteo Mancuso, this is uh, Jesus Molina, and all of these are masking your vision to be yourself. So put them out and try to think for yourself and don't think through harmonies. Harmonies are made of people. The people made these harmonies. So you don't have to, you know, I'm not, these things are not for the beginners that want to start. So they go banana and they go cuckoo and they start to do something and maybe it gets, gets a bit magic. Lots, lots of uh, 80s bands, yeah. <laughs> Nirvana, Nirvana, the chords they've been using, the intervals they've been using, that was phenomenon. That was first time doing it, no, because they they were they were doing the thing that they've been doing for themselves, not to not copycatting other people. Of course, they've been using maybe drugs and do do things, but uh, let alone the drugs. So you can just say fuck it, I'm gonna be myself in music. That's how you gotta do it. Think into intervals. I don't know. I've been thinking into, you know, chords first, and then started to be the scales, and then the tetra chords, and then it went to harmony, and counter counterpoint, and those kind of shit. But the most important thing is, but afterwards it became this thing that I'm telling you now. It's called the intervals. But I don't know. God knows what is the drug that I should use. I'm not drug addict. Addict. I, I don't. I don't blame anyone, but I don't do drugs. Okay, kids. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't know. After the intervals, what is that that comes next afterwards? So I don't know what that is. So this is the place that I'm right now. Uh, but I want to get to a place that I don't have to think about anything. It just comes out of my mind without any limitation. <laughs> Uh, I say the best time to say something is that time that comes into your mind you gotta say it. If you didn't say it, don't think about it because there is not gonna be a time that you could do it uh, again. There's no time that you could say it. It's like a fart. The best time to fart is right at the time at the middle of someone's talking when it's talking shit and the fart wants to come out and you stop it. The best time for that to be out is that time. It's like the talking. The best time for saying something is that time that you want to say it. But if you didn't say it, and then you start thinking about it, and then you want to say it, that becomes something called politics. And it makes people, uh, you know, venge and vengeful and revengeful and those kind of things. So the best time to... So why do people, when they get high, when they get drunk, they play better? Because they're themselves. So try to be yourself without drug. I, I'm, I'm trying to do that. But, you know... shit I am full of shit but I know this that there's no wrong note it's all about how to resolve it to harmony how to there's no wrong chord it is how to resolve it afterwards there's no wrong interval there's how to resolve it in a melody that resolves into a harmony and makes it work okay so if, if I if I'm a great musician if I am if I be a great musician when I go wrong I 
can do, you know, somehow pry open a new harmony that goes and resolves the wrong note. That's why the best musicians improvise it. They don't, ne they never do a wrong note. There's no right or wrong note. When they're improvising, they know when, if they play something that it's not gonna, that is not supposed to be played, they know how to muster, is that a word, muster it up? But they know how to wrap it up somehow that works, okay? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. If you want me to go on and live this miserable life that I'm doing right now, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, if you want me to, if you're having fun, just follow me. In this world of, you know, different things everywhere, everybody just showing off with a new harmony, with a new progression, with a new skill, with we do this, do that. Just try to imitate other people. Well, of course, I'm an imitator. Everybody's doing it. But when I'm, I don't know why, when I start to speak slow, I try to do it in Italian, in way or something like that. It, it's easier for me. Sorry. But yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching.